Piers Morgan's unfiltered take on woke culture. Piers Morgan stands out as a unique voice in journalism, especially when tackling the contentious topic of woke culture. His approach is straightforward and unapologetic, often challenging the contradictions within the modern interpretations of social justice. In this blog post, we'll explore Morgan's insights and arguments against the backdrop of contemporary societal discussions. The Contradictions of Woke Culture One of the most striking aspects of Morgan's commentary is his ability to highlight the contradictions that pervade woke culture. He often presents hypothetical scenarios that force advocates of woke ideology to confront uncomfortable truths. For instance, when discussing whether biological males should be allowed to compete in women's sports, Morgan uses provocative examples to illustrate the absurdity of some woke positions. He questions if a well-known male athlete, like Floyd Mayweather, should be allowed to compete in women's boxing if he identifies as a woman. This line of questioning exposes the inconsistencies in the arguments for inclusivity and fairness in sports. Empowerment v's reality. Another key point Morgan raises is the concept of empowerment within the context of gender dynamics. He critiques the notion that women can achieve empowerment solely by dismissing men. For example, he discusses Emma Raducanu, a prominent female athlete, who claims she doesn't need men to succeed. Morgan points out the irony that many men have played significant roles in her career, from her father managing her to her male coaches and agents. This contradiction is emblematic of a broader trend in woke rhetoric, where the narrative often emphasizes the rejection of male contributions while simultaneously benefiting from them. Morgan asserts that true empowerment does not require raising reality or ignoring the contributions of others. The Evolution of Woke Morgan reflects on the evolution of the term woke, noting that its original meaning fairness and equality has morphed into something more authoritarian. He argues that modern woke culture resembles a form of fascism, where dissenting opinions are not tolerated. This shift, he claims, has led to a society where individuals are ostracized for not adhering to the prevailing narrative. In his view, the social media landscape exacerbates this issue, creating echo chambers where like-minded individuals reinforce each other's beliefs. He likens this to ancient tribalism, where differing opinions lead to conflict rather than dialogue. Language and inclusivity Language is another battleground in the fight against woke culture, according to Morgan. He criticizes the trend of replacing gender-specific terms with more inclusive language, arguing that it often disregards biological realities. For instance, he emphasizes that only women can become pregnant, yet the term pregnant people is increasingly used to accommodate a minority of individuals who identify differently. By challenging this linguistic shift, Morgan raises questions about who gets to dictate language and why the majority should conform to a minority's preferences. He argues that inclusivity should not come at the expense of clarity and truth. Sports and Gender Identity When discussing gender identity in sports, Morgan poses a thought-provoking question about allowing male athletes to compete in women's events based on self-identification. He uses Lionel Messi and Usain Bolt as examples, questioning whether their participation in women's sports would be considered fair or equitable. This line of inquiry exposes the potential dangers of unregulated self-identification in competitive environments. Morgan argues that allowing men to compete in women's sports undermines the achievements of female athletes and poses safety concerns, particularly in contact sports. The Absurdity of Self-Identification In a particularly provocative moment, Morgan humorously questions the limits of self-identification. He suggests that if anyone can identify as anything, then he could claim to be a black lesbian on International Women's Day. This hyperbolic statement serves to illustrate the potential absurdities that arise from unrestricted self-identification. By pushing the boundaries of the conversation, Morgan invites readers to consider the implications of such ideologies on societal norms and legal frameworks. Conclusion A Call for Dialogue Piers Morgan's unfiltered critique of woke culture serves as a reminder of the importance of dialogue in a society increasingly polarized by ideological differences. His willingness to challenge prevailing narratives and question the logic behind them encourages critical thinking. In a world where conversations about identity, empowerment, and inclusivity are often fraught with tension, Morgan's perspective offers a refreshing counterpoint. Whether one agrees with him or not, his approach underscores the necessity of engaging with differing viewpoints to foster understanding and progress. Ultimately, as we navigate the complexities of modern social discourse, it is crucial to remember that open dialogue grounded in reality is essential for a healthy society.